but what, okay, maybe I should ask this. Do you really, do women really feel like superstars and models with this on? Now, now, if this give you confidence, then okay, forget everything I said. Like when you throw this thing on, if, if it's giving you that feel like I am superwoman, then, then that's fine. You know? Matt St. Quedek, man, the girl was having sex. Matt St. Quedek, man, the girl was having sex. Yeah. I'm not here to to like take away things that women may find their esteem from. I just know I don't look my best with this on. <laughs> so I think, you know, that's my whole thing with it. Like, I just don't feel like it's that cute to wear outside. But if I'm going to sleep in the dark and then nobody see me, I'm going to put it on, you know, kind of thing. But I just don't feel like this. Even, I don't, I'm sorry, Toya. I don't even like the bedazzle ones. Like, I feel like that was her attempt to try to make it cute because we know them things ain't cute, but to maybe somebody it is. <clears throat> but even in the bedazzle ones, I really wasn't feeling like that. I really didn't like, so yeah. Hair tie is fine, right? I agree, hair tie is fine. Like nothing is wrong with a hair tie. I got my little tribal print one and I got a new one for Amazon. So I could do like the little poetic justice thing with my braids. <laughs> this summer is mine. So yes, you know, you can wear your little hair wrap and stuff like that, but the bonnet, this thing, yeah, it's not that, it's not that cute to me. So I, I'm not gonna wear it. <laughs> Uh, I'll use this as an example. When you go to a restaurant and they bring your food to the table, the present if the presentation isn't to your liking, you don't want it. So dress the same way. And like you said, act as if you're going to see your ex. <laughs> she looks good enough to eat. Right, like you, you, you gotta dress as if you may run into Obama. You gotta dress as if, you know, this is, ooh, dress as if, this commercial, this video is gonna go on the Super Bowl channel. The world's, well not the world stage, but all those millions of views. Act like you may run into somebody that works for the Super Bowl, CBS, and they may take a picture of you and they're gonna pay like a million dollars for it. You gonna wanna look cute. You know you're not gonna wanna wear no bonnet that day. So just in case that may happen, it may be a one in a billion time chance that it may, but who said it couldn't? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, hey, cousin Mal. So, she said, feel good, look good. Exactly. So, are you saying that you can feel good and look good with your bonnet on? You know, I gotta, hey, I gotta, gotta see where you're going. But yes, when you feel good, you do look good. So, yeah, maybe you can wear a bonnet and still rock it. I'm not saying, like, you can't. But for me, I just don't really like how it looks. <laughs> You know, it's not my thing. Um, I mean, if you're running to the hairdresser with it on, it depends. That's a good point too. Um, dang, when I got my braids, how was my hair? What did I have on? Cause you're right. I had to wear my hair out. You know, you have to like blow dry it and stuff like that. Come wash now and stuff. Hmm. How did I? Did I wear bonnet? Our hair is gone. Now I can't remember. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, so maybe, maybe, like you said, it depends. It's situational if you get your hair done. But I feel like in that case, you could still wear your, like, your hair tie. I mean, the like little turban, like the cute ones. Mm -hmm. Let me it look real, real cute. Oh, I get a kick out of you. Wear hats, interprets, right. Nothing wrong with that. The hats, the turbans, that's fine. Um, I even got like my little Dale State hat. Cause you know hats be cute too. You know, it gives you that little cool, relaxed vibe when you're going for that. You know, you're not trying to do too much. So yes. Oh, and if you notice me looking over here, I'm talking to my IG peeps. So and IG, if you see me looking over here, I'm talking to my Facebook peeps. So <laughs> just wanna let you guys know that. <laughs> <laughs> Backstone, yeah, it's, it's so true. <laughs> yeah, 
And honestly, I talk about people when I'm out. <laughs> you won't catch me slipping. It is that same. It is. You do start to. And then I, I also get it. Because, like, people are saying you don't know what people are going through. You know, they may have. They just. They may be going through a downtime in life. But we're not really talking about those people. I feel like when you are going on a plane, it's like a luxury. It costs some money. So you about to go on vacation, but not all the time. They that person, the people could have been going to a funeral or something like that. But if the people that were going on vacation, that means you got some money. So that means like you're I'm not gonna say that means you're not going through anything, but you know, you could have took the extra effort to look nice. I, I don't know why I keep harping on this Obama. I'm like, what if Obama was in the airport and he wanted to take pictures and you and he it's cool with you taking pictures and you got your bonnet on your pajamas. You know, you're not going to, I don't know. I wouldn't be like, dang, I wouldn't be rushing to get in line to get a picture with him. If I looked a certain kind of way, I'll just, I probably still take the picture and just cry my face like this, cry my face and his, you know, <laughs> because the neck down, I want to be proud of. So I don't know. Maybe this is for the people that may be like they're about to walk into their opportunity you know it's not for everybody but for the people that is for that maybe thought one way maybe it's for you to like get your presentation together for what you may be walking into you don't want to miss your opportunity i go to their hairdresser molded with the old wig good point yes See, still, <laughs> still going to look presentable. And oh, and that was my thing too. Like, even though you may be going through a situation, you shouldn't wear your problem. I even think in scripture, it say like when you're fasting, you're not supposed to look like you're fasting. So I'm, I feel like that can be applied to everyday life too. Even if you're going through something, don't like wear your problems. You're going to think everything is all right with me. But, but I could have just been crying like my heart out, you know, an hour ago. But when it comes on, when I got to like go into work or something like that, you know, you suck it up. So I feel like it's the same thing with life. If I'm going through something, I'm going to, I'm going to at least act the part. I'm going to act like I'm about to go to the ball like I'm Cinderella. You know, <laughs> you ain't going to see me sweat. Yeah. No. Because, you know, plus I don't really want people to be in my business anyway. So, you know, y'all would say something about me like, oh, what's going on with you, Cinquetta? I start looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> she be giving really good examples <laughs> no I'm talking about booty shorts two little clothes and the ones that don't fit over your <laughs> why would you come outside like that <sighs> very very true I'm, I'm trying to figure out what happened because that's one thing about it like I feel like she and I remember when I was listening to some of Monique's like talking points afterwards she was saying how the stewardess used to couldn't wait for the fashion show because they knew like you know people was about to come and shut it down and come on a plane looking really good and i do wonder what happened for us to not take pride in ourselves but like, you know what i'm gonna have to think about this more because I do feel like when I am depressed, you don't really care what you look like. So maybe she's, maybe, maybe the deeper issue is maybe um, mental health kind of, because maybe people are wearing their feelings and maybe that's what we need to talk about. Yeah, I think maybe that's what it is. Cause if, if that is the case and I do really feel bad then. Um, yeah, I do I do feel bad if they are going through something and that's how they choose. You know, like I said, they're wearing their feelings on the outside. Because you know when everything's going right with your life, you be you look like it, you know? <laughs> um, so maybe the opposite is true. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I had to think about that more. Like talking about this has made me think like, okay, maybe it is like um, depression or something going on, which is making people want to dress down perhaps. I don't know. But 
for the people that's just being lazy. I think that's what she's talking about. Um, the people that's just being lazy that don't want to dress up. <laughs> um, I think that's who she's talking about. Even me, that's how come I feel like I got these braids. Um, because sometimes you don't feel like touching your hair or doing nothing with your hair, but you still want to look presentable. Oh, like when I was going to the gym consistently. <laughs> And told her myself. But when I was going to the gym, I'm about to pick it back up. But when I was going to the gym, I felt like, dang, I always got to do something with my hair, my hair, my hair, my hair. So I get it, the struggles that goes into maintaining our hair and stuff like that. But, you know, I still am going to just throw it in a ponytail still kind of thing. Um, Just kind of look like I do care about myself because I, I actually do. Or make that extra effort to care about yourself. And if you don't care about yourself, why? There we go. Maybe that's what Monique was trying to hit on. Like, and that's what we need to address. Like, helping our fellow sister out to get her swag back up. Maybe she she is going through something. Maybe we can help. But, like I said, the one mistake that she did make was using the lady picture. I mean, I, I don't like that either. When I when I was reading the comments, I did agree with that part. I don't think she should have used the lady's picture because that lady didn't ask to be on Monique's page as an example of how not to dress. No. Now, she had the lady's consent, okay, but if she did, and that was very wrong. Don't be using me as an example of why not to get on a used stream yard, you know? Mm -mm. <laughs> Or to go on Instagram live with a picture of you. With, don't use me as an example. But, you know, so I do get that. I felt like she kind of didn't have to use that lady's likeness. That was kind of a little harsh. So, let's see. I was at the airport, fully dressed, hair in place. I knew I was going away for months. LOL. I'd be depressed at times and I couldn't imagine going outside looking crazy and see myself on social media going viral. Hashtag suicide tendencies. LOL. Don't mind me. I'm just being honest. Very, very true. And kind of like we would like both agreed on the whole like ex-boyfriend thing or, or whoever it may be. Like the person that like was a bully in school or something a person that talked about you your biggest hater or rival you do not want to go outside look at a mess because that's going to remind them you know no look at me now uh, look at me now you got to be on your chris brown type time you just really do when you when you step out because you just never you ever notice that too why every time i'll be i'll be looking cute Mm -hmm. Every time I be looking cute, I'm like, oh, okay, I may see somebody I know. Don't never see nobody I know. By the time I'm looking like regular, real down, like, oh, ain't nobody going to see me. You run into somebody you know? That is so, why does that happen? I really, mm, 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 mm. that is so unfortunate. Like, I don't understand why that happens. I really don't. 